required. Ensure that recipient is at least 21 years old. Find out now. What happened? Somebody gave you a minor package. Pretty sure that I am not a minor, so I think I'm going to be able to pick up this package. But I'm having to meet him at the sketchy Circle K here in South Florida because we're not at home right now. I'm just so excited to get this DJ action to in my hands. Welcome. Sure, my need. I might need to see an ID. Yep. do with the action 2 was to put it on to my dji mavic 2 pro i see a lot of other youtube content creators out there that are producing reviews and comparisons but i want to show you guys an action situation yes that's right i am mounting this directly to my mavic 2 pro drone Just using this pgy adapter quarter 20 mount that i already had from my mavic i thought i could just simply just screw this on to it but that didn't go so well. So it was actually a little bit too shallow for that standard quarter 20 to go all the way in. So it still spun around and wasn't very secure. So I had to get creative with it. So I had this water bottle, just decided to poke a hole through it and then cut this out. I don't recommend you using a razor blade unattended. Make sure you have parental supervision when using sharp objects. I just needed a plastic spacer to go in between that mount, quarter 20 mount that was provided by DJI and put it right there on top of the adapter for the drone so that the camera, the Action 2 camera would not swivel around, move too much side to side. Later, I did not realize how much it would move. You'll see that here in just a second. And there we go, nice, secure and tight. And while you watch me do the rest of this, which is very self-explanatory, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and leave a comment down below. Would you attach your DJI Action 2 to a drone? What drone do you have? I would love to know in the comments below. At this point, I'm getting super excited because I'm so ready to put this thing up in the air and see what this camera can do attached to the drone. So I put it on top of the battery pack and the dual screen. These magnets only go on one way, which is great but you do need to be careful and look at them because they will only magnetize one way. There we go. Nope, just kidding. I do not want to put both of these modules on there. It's too heavy and it's too tall. So detach it, just have the camera and we are ready to go. Okay, so here is the test footage straight out of both of these cameras. This is unedited, it's just the raw footage. Now I did put everything on auto and I set it to 2K resolution at 60 frames per second just to keep things fairly balanced and fair in this example. So no color correction, no editing, just straight out of the camera. Now for this test, I did put it into Rocksteady rather than Horizon Lock. So my guess is that the Horizon Lock possibly would fix that vertical wobble that we're seeing very drastic here. I, I was actually really surprised at how much vertical wobble there was on the Rocksteady stabilization. And at the end here, you'll see how drastic it is. But here I'm just flying over water. Now I told myself I was not gonna fly over any water because I just got this DJI Action 2 camera and I didn't wanna go losing it here in Pelican Bay. But 
there was pelicans out there and I did it for you guys. I flew over water, I chased some pelicans for you to get some great test footage. Now keep in mind, this is just shot in normal color mode, straight out of the camera. So no color correction. So obviously this footage could be improved a whole lot, but this is just for demonstration purpose. Right here, watch this right here, how much vertical up and down, whoa. To connect to the Action 2 camera, I was using my Samsung S21 Ultra and I had to get really, really close to the drone in order to reconnect. Obviously, if it went, you know, more than about 30 feet away from me, it disconnected and I couldn't see any live preview anymore. But I was a little surprised at how close I had to get to the camera to reconnect to it. And I actually had to close out the DJI app a couple of times to get it to reconnect. I got this error a couple of times as well, and it was all in Chinese. So I translated it and it said, Note. Fail to get the storage status of the device, please restart the device and try again. One other thing to mention is that when you mount a camera on top of this drone, it creates interference with a compass. So do know that you'll be flying without GPS if you do this.